Okay, guys. Hello. Good evening to every one of you. Um, can everyone listen to me? Good evening. Good evening. Teacher. Yes, I listen. We listen. Okay, thank you very much. So it's really nice to see you once again, guys. Another week. And this is actually our last week. So it means that we will just have three more classes and we're done with this module, okay? So um, for today's class, guys, it's going to be a little bit about grammar, let's say it like that. And uh, well, I hope you had a great weekend, that you're safe at home and that you're, you're here. That's very good. Thank you so much for that. So uh, before we start, guys, as usual, I am going to ask you questions regarding to the last class. With that being said, let's start with the questions. What can you tell me guys about present continuous? Hello? Yes. Um, perdón, perdón, sí. uh, okay. Uh, we use present continuous when we talk about things que están sucediendo en el momento, at the moment. Yes? Yeah, of course. Thank you very much for that, Rodrigo. So is there any rule that we have to follow in present continuous? Are there rules that are not? Or what? Yeah. There, there, there are, there are rules. Can for you tell me one of them at least? For example, uh, in, in sense, sense in the verb, and the verb, the sense, mm -hmm. the sentimientos are uh, not, not as I and G. We do not add I and G. Okay. What else? Do we have any other rule that you would like to tell me? Is there any other rule, guys? Hello? Are you listening, guys? Is there yes. any other rule? Mm. Because normally the same people always participate. Always is the same people participating, but the other ones are just there and do not say anything. So tell me something about the present continuous because if you don't tell me, I will ask you questions to you because that class, we already saw it, okay? And uh um, you had the whole weekend just to, to check a little bit on those classes. So, okay, so nobody wants to say anything. So let me ask you some questions. When I have a verb such as lie, what do I do with that verb? Uh, in this verb, uh, we change mm -hmm. for the consonant G. For, yes, for the sir. consonant G, do you mean? I, I, why? For the letter Y. Uh -huh, why, why, yes. yes. For the letter <laughs> for Y. For the letter Y. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and what else? Add ING. In, add ING. In other rule mm -hmm. is, and also when I add uh, W consonant and some verb, mm -hmm. for example, put. Mm -hmm. uh, add, add W, T, putting. Putting, okay. What about the verb open? What happened with that verb? The verb open. The verb open, we only add A and G because mm -hmm. the stress, stress, stress zone is in the O. Okay, thank you very much. What about the verb run? What do we do with that verb? 
the strength vowel mm -hmm. is an U, and um, and and final um, a word is the um as well R U N N I N G. Okay. Can I say this? Let me type this in the chat. Let me see. Is it possible to say that? Can someone check the chat? If you think that that uh, sentence is possible, type yes. If you think that that is not possible, please type no. It's not possible, teacher. Okay, so type no then. So let me see. Yes, yeah, so Jenna says yes. Stephanie says yes. Luis says yes. <clears throat> Rufino says no. Cecilia says no. Rodrigo says yes. Jacqueline says no. Lisa Montoya, yes. What about the other ones? Norma Marbelli says no. Mm -hmm. What about, I'm still missing some, some answers over there because we are 23 on the session and not all people are participating today. So let me see for those that says yes, let me see sure. Lisette Montoya. If you said yes, Lisette, can you tell me why you think that's correct? or that is possible to say? Uh, because teacher, I understand that uh, after verb to be mm -hmm. uh, plus I and G, the next verb, uh -huh. I think. Okay, let me see another opinion. Let me see. For someone that said yes, Stephanie Figueroa, can you tell me why do you think that's a yes? I think it's because the verb fix with ing mm -hmm. is not um um está siendo utilizado como verbo en sí. Porque mm -hmm. como usted explicó en la clase anterior está siendo utilizado como cuando Okay. Okay. Let me see. Cecilia Melgar, why do you think that's a no? Uh, well, teacher, uh, I remember you said the last week that um, see um, here not is possible. Uh, uh, ENG. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that we got confused on all on the whole information. So for those okay. who said no, para los que dijeron no, están en lo incorrecto, chicos. Why? Porque si bien dijimos el verbo sí no se puede utilizar en en, en sí como verbo ver en ing, pero sí se puede poner en ing, pero ya no significa lo mismo. So, in this case, significa estar viendo a alguien no en el sentido literal de ver, sino en un sentido romántico. Do you remember that now? Yes, teacher, I remember. Yes, I remember. <laughs> I remember. I, I remember. Okay. <laughs> so now everyone remembers, okay? So... Please guys, try to check that information at home so you don't get confused with everything we have right there. Um, so, but thank you very much for participating. So for today's class, guys, we are going to talk about like, 
and dislikes. So the word dislike, we do not use it that much, but it's important that you know how to use it and when to use it. So for today's class, it's going to be about like and dislike. <clears throat> we are going to learn today how to use it and how uh, we can make sentences in the right order or grammatically correct. So first of all, we are going to see how to make positive and negative sentences or negative positive or negative statements. First of all, we will have to follow a formula or a structure, okay? We have two ways to say that we like or dislike things. Do you have any idea what dislike mean? Disgustar. Disgustar, okay. Algo que no me gusta, no me gusta. Yeah, of course, something that you don't like. So we can say that um, is something that you don't like, dislike. So we have actually two formulas or two ways in how or, or of the things or how we can make sentences, a positive and negatives. And here we have the first one. The first one says, we use the subject, Saying, see, this computer doesn't. Okay. We have the subject that every one of you knows the subjects. Okay. We have like or dislike. And at the end of that, we have a noun. So this is the first way or the first formula that you can use in order to make a question, or I'm sorry, a sentence using like or dislike. As you can see here, guys, you can decide whether to say don't like or dislike. Both of them are going to be correct. So it doesn't really matter if you use one or if you decide to use the other one or, um, it doesn't mean that one is correct and the other one is not correct. No, it's not in that way. Both of them are correct. So let's see. Um, if you use a positive, you can say, I like cheese. So first of all, I plus like plus a noun. In this case, cheese is a noun. So when you say something in negative, you have to keep in mind that you can use two. You can say, they don't like cheese, or you can say, they dislike cheese. That is going to be pretty much the same thing. As I told you so minutes ago, it doesn't mean that one is correct and the other one is not correct because both of them are correct. So, when we go to the third person, we already know that we have to modify the verb. We already know that information, okay? So once again, subject, the verb like, modify because we're using the third person and the last part, a noun. So he likes cheese, she likes cheese, or you can say he, oh, my bad. Is there a problem here, guys? Hay un problema acá? Alguien que me pueda decir cuál es el error ahí? Doesn't. Doesn't. doesn't like. Eso. Okay. We're, now we're understanding that. Perfect. That was just my mistake. Just let me correct that. Just give me a second. All right. So, now that we have that, Corrected. So let's continue with that. So we have doesn't because every one of us know that when we talk about the third person, we use doesn't, or in this case, because we're talking about like and dislike, we can say he doesn't like cheese, or we can say he dislike. Let me ask you, um, no, I will ask you that later on. 
So we can say he disliked cheese. So this is the first formula, guys. It's not actually complicated. As you can see, subject, like, dislike, according to what you want to say, and obviously a noun at the end. We, could, we can see more examples right here. Let me see, Alba Saavedra, can you please do me a favor and help me reading the, uh, the examples, the first examples that we have here, please. Hello. Hello, teacher. Yes. I, okay. I like soccer. Mm -hmm. I like the beach. Mm -hmm. um, I like Mexican food. Only three. All of them. All of them. No, I mean, uh, this part, the first part, obviously. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, now. Okay, Perdón. leave it there. Leave it there, okay? Thank you very much. So, Patricia okay. Veronica, uh, Alba Saavedra said the ones with like. Can you please go ahead and make the ones using this like, please? I dislike soccer. Mm -hmm. You dislike the beach. Mm -hmm. We dislike Mexican food. Uh, they dislike orange juice. Orange use. Thank you very much. Now, Maria Luz de Nieto, go ahead and please tell me with part number two. Okay. He likes music. Mm -hmm. She likes Chinese food. Chinese food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It likes um, milk. Thank you very much. Now, let's go with Stella with using this light. He dislike music. Mm -hmm. She dislike music. I know she needs food. Mm -hmm. It dislike milk. This is thank you very much, Estela. This is the question that I was going to ask you some minutes ago, guys. Because as you can notice here, when we use dislike, even though we're talking in the negative way, in a negative sense. But you will always have to modify the verb, even though we're talking in a negative sense. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Repeat me, please, teacher. Okay. So as you can see here, we use this like and the verb is being modified, even though we're talking in a negative sense. So as you can see, this verb is still being modified even if we're talking in the negative sense. Only negative. No, I think that, okay, I will say that in Spanglish then. Okay, chicos, si se fijan acá, está siendo modificado dislike porque dislike, aunque se toma en un sentido negativo, es tomado como parte de un verbo. Sí, es decir, aquí estamos usando third person, right? Tercera persona. So, aunque sepamos que dislike es no me gusta y por, por lo tanto el sentido es negativo, aunque ese tenga un sentido negativo, el verbo se va a modificar como tal, ya que está usando tercera persona. Is it clear? Estamos claros? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So let's move on. We can also make questions using the verb like, and uh, we are going to be focusing in the same formula that we use in the, let me ask you these questions. Algo de acá es familiar para ustedes? Does it look familiar, familiar to you? Something? Algún the tema? Auxiliary doing the auxiliary. And what is that? ¿Qué es eso? Mm -hmm. auxiliar simple present. Simple present. Eso, simple <laughs> present. Okay, so 
when we try to make questions using like, we are going to use the formula that we already know that we used in simple present. So as you can see, the auxiliary at the beginning, subject or pronoun, the verb like, and the noun. Yes, do you like cheese? We already know how to say yes or no, because we already know how to answer to those questions. Let me ask you now a question. Can I answer these questions with a long answer? Or is it possible only to use short answers? What do you guys think? Can I use long answers or only short answers? That is my question for you. We can use long answer too. So how would you give me a long answer if I ask you the question, do you like cheese? Teacher, it's, uh, yes, it I like. Mm -hmm. Because WH question. Mm -hmm. The sentences uh, don't. Ay, come on. No son. No son este con WH. Entonces no se puede usar la respuesta larga. O sea, se puede usar solo la corta. Mm -hmm. But is it possible to, to use a long answer or not? No. No, not at all. Uh -huh. Yes, so if I ask you the question, do you like cheese? Can you answer that with a long answer? If you, if you say yes, please tell me your answer to that question. Teacher. <clears throat> Teacher. Mm -hmm. I think we can use a long answer. So give me your, your answer then. If I ask yes, you, do you like cheese? The answer will be, yes, I do. I like cheese. Yes, I do. I like cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's... For example. Uh-huh, Jenny? Uh, I like cheese mozzarella in my sandwich. Okay. Guys, we are... I don't know what, what's going on with you today. No sé lo que les pasa ahora, pero venimos. That we don't remember that much. So do not complicate that much, guys. No se compliquen mucho, okay? We see, of course, we can use long answers, but normally, normalmente, we use short answers. But si yo le hago la pregunta a alguien, do you like cheese? La misma pregunta me da la respuesta. Yo digo, yes, I like cheese, period, punto, hasta ahí. Por lo tanto, sí puedo utilizar long answer. Si yo digo, yes, I do, I like cheese, that will be incorrect. Why? Because you are using, estás dando dos respuestas, tanto como la larga como la corta. Mm -hmm. Do we understand? Yes, teacher. Okay. Perfect. So we have some examples here, which are pretty much the same as the ones that we already saw. Let me see. Uh, Rufino, can you please help me with this part? And then with the second part, Maria Veronica. Do you like to eat pizza? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Do we like eat, eating pizza? 
Mm -hmm. No, we don't. Okay. Do they like do they like to eat pizza? Yes. Um do they like to eat pizza? No, they don't. Do do I like do I like to eat pizza? Uh, I I, yes, I do. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Maria Veronica, I think I said. Yeah. Hello. Okay, please go ahead and help me with part number two. Doesn't she like to play soccer? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. um, does he like playing soccer? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. No, what? No, no, he don't. No, he don't? Are you sure? Um, Guys, is it? No, he doesn't. Okay, all right. Cool. Um, does the dog eat play, play soccer? Mm -hmm. um, Yes, he doesn't. Okay, you're saying yes, he, he doesn't. Doesn't. So, estás utilizando positivo y negativo al mismo tiempo. You're saying yes, he doesn't. So, what is the answer, guys? How do we say that? Does the dog like playing soccer? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, no, it doesn't. Maria, recuerda que doesn't es solo para negativo y does para afirmativo. So if you say yes, yes, it does. No, no, it doesn't. Okay? Okay. Perfect. So uh, is there any questions so far, guys, or something that is not clear? Is everything clear? Clear, as clear, okay. Perfect. Music to my ears. All right. So, this is my question for you. Esa es la pregunta que les traigo ahora a todos ustedes. Can I make negative questions using like or dislike? Can I? Can I make? Let me see. I'm going to ask everyone. Le voy a preguntar a todos. Maria Veronica, what do you think? Yes or no? <laughs> yeah, yes or no? Maria Veronica? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Like. Así. Okay. Podemos hacer oraciones negativas usando like o dislike. No, this is the question that I'm asking you. Esta es la pregunta que yo les estoy haciendo a ustedes. And I need to check to pregunta, see what you guys think. Negativas. Okay. So Luis Enrique, do you yes. think that that's a yes or no? Yeah, no, 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 teacher. Okay, Jacqueline Galicia, yes or no? Yes, teacher. Rubia Franco, yes or no? Yes. Lisette, yes or no? Yes, teacher. Patricia Veronica? Uh, yes. 
Yes, yes con algo de dudita, <laughs> pero ahí vamos, ¿verdad? Rufino, yes or no? Yes. Estela. Yes. María Luz de Nieto. Tengo dudas por... Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Alba Saavedra, what do you think? Yes, teacher. That's a yes. Okay. Let me see. Veronica de Martinez. Yes or no? Okay. Claudia Eta. Yes. I think yes. Andrea. Yes. Jenny, what do you think? Yes. Adriana Marcela. No, I answer is 50 50. Okay. <laughs> Cecilia Melgar, what do you think? No, teacher. No. Uh, Catherine Villamariona. Yes, teacher. Tatiana Pleites. Teacher, I think yes. Okay. Uh, Stephanie Figueroa. Actually, I don't know, teacher. You don't know, okay. Teacher. Honestly. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Not. I'm sorry? No. Okay. Norma Marbelli, what do you think? Yes. Brenda Villeda. Yes. Cristian Marroquín. Yes. Carlos Dubón. Yes. Okay. So let's see if it is possible or not. Let me see. For the ones that said yes, para los que dijeron sí, let me tell you that the answer is. Yes. Why? Si sí puedo hacer preguntas negativas. For example, if I ask, oh, let me see. Just let me change the idiom. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I if I say something like this. Is, is that correct for you? Like grammar, grammatically correct, if I say that? Yes, I'll say that. Perdón. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Do you don't? What happens if I say something like Is that right? Yes, it's right. Yes, it's right. So it's right. What right. would what would you answer right, me, you know? How hmm? would you answer that question? Teacher, mm -hmm. también puede ser como cuando tenemos dudas o no estamos seguros de algo, como para confirmar la información. Like, like, mm -hmm. can you give me an example of what, of what you said? Un ejemplo de lo que acabas de decir, because I didn't... Un ejemplo en, como, por ejemplo, en español cuando decimos, no le gusta tal cosa, no sé, no le gusta el pescado frito. Como a veces cuando nos quedamos de admiración de que no le gusta algo, no sé. Ok, yeah, in, in that sense, en ese sentido, yes, that's possible. But in English, grammatically, si hablamos de gramática, yes, that's also possible. If someone asks you a questioning negative, si alguien te hace una pregunta negativa, como dijo alguien por ahí, la respuesta tiene que ser positiva o negativa. 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 
Porque estoy preguntando yeah. algo. For example, <laughs> in this in this question, uh, la, la, the answer is yes. Yes, she like she doesn't like to eat pupusas. Okay, but there you're saying yes, and then you're saying no. Emily. Sí, a ella no le gusta la pupusa. Okay, so as one of your classmates said, no, she doesn't like to eat pupusas. So, the answer, la respuesta siempre debe de ir negativa. Why? Porque si alguien te pregunta, como dijo alguien por ahí, no te gusta eso, ¿qué dices? No, because you don't like it automatically. That's a no. Es como que esté seguro de que, como confirmando que no le gusta. Es como, right. ya sabe, ¿verdad? Uh, yeah, exactly. It's like to reconfirm that you don't like that. So, as you can see, guys, it means that we can make positive questions and also negative questions. Can, now my question for you is, can I use a WH question there? Yeah. Well, Teacher. Yeah. Uh I have a question. Yes, yes. We can use it. Mm -hmm. What's your question, Cecilia? Yes. Okay, en español, porque pues sí, verdad, me cuesta. <laughs> okay. Um, yo le dije que no porque, o sea, con el like sí era obvio que sí se puede hacer preguntas mm -hmm. en negativo, pero yo estaba entendiendo que con el dislike no, porque cómo va a preguntar que no le gusta, si dislike no me gusta, no, o sea, yo no le hallaba, por eso dije que no. En este caso no se puede poner, eh, porque va a ser como bien redundante poner no te gusta, que no, o sea, no sé si me estoy dando a entender, poner el no y el dislike otra vez. No, sé si no yeah, I, I completely understand what you're saying. Uh -huh. In that case, using dislike, of course, is not possible because it obviously doesn't make any sense. And you will be double repeating what you already said. So you cannot use dislike. The only one that we can use is like. So that's, that's fine. Okay. So okay. My, my other question for you was, can I use WH questions? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Could I yes. say... Yes. Let me see. What? Is that correct for you? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So what, let me see, let me ask someone. Mm. Let me see. Claudia Iraeta. If I ask you the question, why doesn't he like to run in the morning? Can you give me an answer to that question? Don't like because don't, don't early in the morning. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Can someone else give me an answer to that question? Can someone help me with that? Okay, lo vamos a hacer dedocrático ya que se pelean por participar. Tatiana Pleites. If I ask you that question, why doesn't he like to run in the morning? Can you give me an answer to that question? Because I get up late. Okay. All right. That was, uh, that was my question is mm -hmm. we use the WH question with the auxiliary. With the with the Doesn't. Auxiliary? because it's a third person. 
Mm -hmm. So I don't. Ah, uh, ah, uh, sí, sí, sí. Ah, okay, okay. Please. All right. So the right answer, la respuesta correcta para esa pregunta sería, he doesn't like to run in the morning because blah, 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 okay? Estamos acostumbrados, chicos, a irnos a lo más fácil. De una sola vez que le dicen why, como ya sabe que se tiene que responder because, solo dice because, something like that. So you can say that, ustedes lo pueden utilizar, sí, cuando hablamos un lenguaje callejero. Si usted quiere hablar un lenguaje o un inglés formal, you have to say, he doesn't like to run in the morning because, okay? For the next time, pay attention to that, guys. Because even in English, we have all those difference. Did you know that you can, that there is English from the streets and professional English? Did you know that? Yes, teacher. All right. No. So we got to be careful with that. So we have another way, guys, in how we can make uh, sentences. In this case, uh, the verb like and dislike, it can be followed by another verb. And we are going to understand or we're going to try to know how, um, how to make them. First of all, we have the subject. Second of all, we have like, dislike, and of course, the verb. As you can notice, guys, when you use like or dislike, and there's another verb following like or dislike, the verb that follows like or dislike is going to be in ing. Can you see that? Okay, let me see. Catherine Villamariona, help me reading this part. This one right here. Please. Um, sorry, teacher. Uh, repeat the question, please. No, just help me help me reading this part. Just ah, help okay. me to read. Mm -hmm. I like dancing. Mm -hmm. uh, we like dancing. You mm -hmm. like dancing. They like dancing. Okay. Um, I don't like um, eating. We don't, we, ay, perdón. <laughs> we don't like eating. You mm -hmm. don't like eating. They don't like eating. Okay. Um, this light también. Yeah, please. Okay. I dislike eating. We dislike eating. You dislike eating. They dislike eating. Okay. So guys, as you can see there, we have the verb like and another verb follows that verb, the verb like. So sure. yes. Sorry. Uh um there there is a mistake in the presentation and excellent he, he what's your name again cecilia right yes thank you very much ¿Qué pasa con los otros? what's going on with the other ones el fin de semana los ha dejado oh my god like in another world como en otro mundo verdad so Thank you very much, Cecilia. So just let me correct it. And thanks for noticing that. Excellent. All right. So let's continue with that. So the mistake was here, obviously, because here it was don't instead of saying doesn't. So um, here we have some other examples, guys, where you can see that after the verb like, 
And because it's followed by another verb, we add ing. And because you already know the rules for the continuous form, you know if you have to double, you know if you don't have to double, you know if you have to uh, just to add ing, you know, you know all the rules already. So we are not going to focus on that. So as you can see, I like swimming, I like reading, I like dancing, and I like singing. So remember that, guys. It's very important that you know that every time that we use like or dislike followed by another verb, you will need to add ing. Of course, there's some um, what exceptions, we can say it like that, where you can use um, something that we call in grammar, uh, the, um, probably I'm not gonna tell you that right now because if not, you're gonna get confused. Pero en gramática, chicos, podemos utilizar también lo que le llamamos eh, los infinitivos. I don't know if you have heard about that, que solo es el verbo to, como que yo dijera, I like to play, en vez de decir, I like playing. So there are some times that I can use that. Hay algunas situaciones o cosas en las que lo podemos usar así, pero en el momento nos vamos a enfocar solamente en los de ing, because that's the only ones that you know at this moment. Okay, are we clear on that part? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. very good. So remember, just remember that if you have the verb like or dislike and there's another verb next to it, just add ing, that's it. So let me see, uh, Estela, help me read in this part, please. I like playing soccer. Mm -hmm. You like, digamos, agarra los, el sujeto y mm. las... You go this de... way, this way, then you go this way, this way, then this way, or this way, and this one, and so on, and so on. Okay, perfect. I like playing soccer. You like, I dislike playing soccer. You like going to the beach. The beach. Mm -hmm. uh, do we like going to the beach? Mm -hmm. We like eating Mexican food. We dislike eating Mexican food. They like drinking orange juice. Mm -hmm. Juice, yeah. Juice. They dislike drinking orange juice. Thank you very much. And part number two, Christian Marroquin, please. Christian. Number two, dijo, verdad? Yes, <clears throat> this part right here. He likes listening music. He likes cooking Chinese food. Mm -hmm. He likes reading tales. Okay, and what about she and it? Ahora con dislike. Okay. Supongo, ¿verdad? Yes, just, you go ahead. I'm just leaving. Okay. So you can. He dislikes uh -huh. like listening music. Mm -hmm. He dislikes cooking Chinese food. Chinese? Chinese, okay. He dislikes reading tales. Mm -hmm. Ahora sigo con she. Uh -huh. Go ahead. She likes listening music. She likes cooking Chinese food. She, like, she, she likes reading tales. Mm -hmm. It likes listening music. It likes cooking Chinese food. It, it likes reading tales. Okay, guys. So I think that, I don't know if it is clear because uh, for me, los escucho como completamente entre perdidos. Los escucho como 50-50. So I really don't know if today's topic is clear 
or you still have a lot of doubts in your mind. So you let me know, is there something that you would like me to repeat you or is clear as the water? Teacher, eh, mm -hmm. vaya, lo que yo entiendo entonces es que siempre que tengamos el like o dislike, siempre que después siga un verbo, vamos a agregar ing. Yes, exactly. Yes. Y no sonaría extraño porque esas son las reglas según lo que se dice. O sea, yeah, yo... those, those are the rules. There are some exceptions. Hay algunas excepciones que las van a aprender cuando ya vayan en un nivel más avanzado. Teacher, ¿y mm -hmm. por qué acá no se usa el to en, entre el like y el verbo? Because we are using, ¿qué es lo que estamos usando acá? Un ING. Gerundio, ING. Un ING. Y por regla gramatical, cuando tenemos un gerundio, jamás es necesario utilizar to. Vas a utilizar to cuando estés usando un infinitivo, que eso es lo que les decía hace un rato, pero por eso les decía, no me voy a meter ahí, porque son temas que los van a ver más adelante. Ok, teacher, gracias. All right, any other questions so far? Adriana. Oh, Thank you. Mm, ese, y después de like, digamos que puedo usar do. Mm, para decir I like to play. No, no, no. O sea, otra oración, así como eh, a él le gusta hacer ejercicio. You can say I like, I like to play soccer. I like to play soccer. You can say that and that's correct. But as I was telling you, now or right now, we're just going to be focusing on like plus ing for because mm -hmm. that topic you can use too. Yes. Tu respuesta es que sí, puedes usar tú, pero el verbo tiene que estar infinitivo, sin ing. Por eso es que no nos vamos a meter ahí porque es otra clase para que en realidad lo entienda. Uh, pero no sé si me entendió. Fue do. Do de. Do, D-O, you mean? D-O. Uh -huh. Por I ejemplo. Uh -huh. ajá, por ejemplo, si sí, digo. No sé si estaría correcto decir. He likes. Do. Doing. Doing. Yep. Exercise. In the morning. Yeah, that's completely correct. Why? Because you're following the rule. The rule says, if there's another verb next to like or dislike, add ing. And because you add, and you said doing, correct. He likes doing exercises in the morning. That's completely correct. Okay, it's clear. <laughs> All right, so any other question guys so far? No, teacher, no question. Okay, no questions at all. So, yo tengo dudas, yo tengo yes. dudas ahí. O Tell sea me. que, vaya, déjeme entender. El do es como que estuviéramos usando el, el ing. Es como, es lo mismo, solamente que uno está infinitivo y otro está en gerundio. Mm, uh, I, I don't understand your question. El verbo do está siendo utilizado como verbo de hacer, no como auxiliar, Exacto. si no malentiendo la pregunta. Exacto. Creo que tu pregunta es si, en, si, si el ejemplo que hablamos con Adriana de he likes doing exercises, en ese caso do ya no está actuando como un auxiliar, está actuando como verbo. Ah, porque yo, yo lo mismo diría, y yo lo siento lo mismo, pero es la gramática, como usted dice, que por eso eh, pensaba yo que lo mismo era decir do que ponerle ing. Era lo mismo, pero no. Entonces. I mean, it's the same. Sí, sí, volvemos a lo mismo. Yo puedo decir he likes to do o he likes uh -huh. doing. Yo lo puedo okay. utilizar de esa manera y va a significar lo mismo. El significado no cambia. Con la diferencia es que gramaticalmente no hay uno que esté correcto e incorrecto. Solo que el día de ahora nos vamos a enfocar en este particular o en esta forma particularmente. Es decir, 
Después del verbo like or dislike, utilizar ing. Después sí le sigue un verbo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero no podemos usar los dos. El do y, y agregándole al verbo ing. No se pueden usar los dos porque estaríamos diciendo las dos el mismo, la misma cosa. Mm, I... I really, I don't know if I'm understanding. No sé si estoy entendiendo tu pregunta or not. I, I really don't know. <laughs> es que ya me dice, hola, ahí. Va, pero como usted dice, ya la próxima, eh, próxima clase entenderé eso. Va. <laughs> Ahorita tengo que enfocarme <laughs> que es ING. Okay. Yeah, ING, that's it. Yeah, do not focus on the other things. If not, you're going to get confused. So okay. um, after that explanation, guys, and those situations that we had, is there any questions so far? No, teacher. No, no questions at all. Everything is clear. Yes. Okay, so for today, para el día de ahora, teníamos eh, audios. Por primera vez, íbamos a escuchar audios para ver de qué manera, lo cuánto lograban entender de un audio. But, Salvados por el tiempo, ¿verdad? No la vamos a poder hacer. Así que, we're going to make this conversation. And because we still have uh, four minutes, actually, I will decide, yo voy a des decidir who will make the conversations. So this conversation is going to be made the first, well, the first time by Patricia Verónica and María Luz de Nieto. La segunda vez será por Rufino y Claudia Iraeta. And the last one, la última vez, será por Alejandra Cristina y uh, Lisette Montoya. Okay? So, go ahead. Mm. Este, do you listen to music? Maria yes. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Yes, I, I listen music. No. Oh, yes, I like? No, Le check, check the conversation because that you're, the only thing that you're going to do is just to read the conversation. Excuse me, que se tenía problema, okay. Excuse me. I listen to music every day. Every day. Every, every day. I listen to music every day. Okay. What kind of music do you listen to? What kind? What kind? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, li I listen to all sorts of music. My MP3. MP3, yes. Cuando tenemos letras así, ya sabe. M, ¿cómo se dice? MP3. MP3. Mm -hmm. Player is full of jazz, rock, and other sort of... Sort of... Sort of music. Sort of music. Mm -hmm. I also like to listen to country music. I only listen to pop music. I'm not really interested in Interest, classical. Interested? Inter, interested in classic, classical music. I find it somewhat slow. Well, at first I don't like. I it. didn't. I I didn't like it too, uh, but my father was crazy about country music. When I was ki I kid, I killed him often. Take mm -hmm. me to live, live <laughs> good. <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. Live. Like, no, live country music concert. And over the years, I um, developed mm -hmm. 
I test for at um, now I make at it a point to listen to lead music. Live. We never. What? Live music. And to listen to live music whenever I can. Okay, thank you very much, guys. We need to practice that pronunciation, okay? So what about couple number two? Go ahead. Do you listen to music? I listen to music every day. What kind of music do you listen to? I listen to all sort of music of music. My MP3 player is full of jazz, rock, and other sort of music. I also also like to Lucy listen to country music. Perdón. Excellent. I only listen to music to pop music. I'm not really interested in classical music. Uh, I find in somewhat slow. Well, I first I didn't like it too, but, but my father was crazy about country music. When I was a kid, he often take me to live country music concert. And over the years, I developed a taste for it. Now I make it a point to listen to live music whenever I can. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. The last couple. Okay. Do you listen to music? I listen to music every day. What kind of music do you listen to? I listen to all sorts of music. My MP3 player is full of jazz, rap, and rock, and other sorts of music. I also like to listen to country music. I only listen to pop music. I'm not really interested in classical music. I find it somewhat slow. Well, at first, I didn't like it too, but my father was crazy about country music. When I was a kid, he'd often take me to live country music concerts. And over the years, I developed a taste for it. Now I make it a point to listen to music, to lead music, to like music whenever I can. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. So uh, remember that when you say this live, están refiriendo música en vivo y cuando dicen live es otra cosa, ¿verdad? So that makes the difference in pronunciation. This one we say developed, developed, okay? So um, another thing, guys, before we go, is that today we receive instructions from the administration department saying that some students are not working on the platform. So I was going to ask you guys, are you working on the platform? I know that some of you already completed it. I know that some of you already did it, but uh, what about the other ones? Are you guys still working on the platform or you already finished it? So how are you guys doing? I finish. You complete. I it. finish. All right. I, I only five. Okay, five. No, okay. no yo sí estoy atrasado. Estoy en la... A mí me falta el examen final. Sí, me falta el examen final y me falta también la. Bueno, ahora me está pidiendo la cuatro, mm -hmm. pero realmente sí, sí, sí me, me cuesta hacerla, no porque. Mm, no porque no, no tenga, no puede hacerla porque no la entiendo, sino que por, por el tiempo. Pero... Okay. Yeah, uh, my suggestion for you is that you try to work since today because you only have two business days, dos días más para poderle entregar. Porque el día jueves todos tienen que tener ya 80% listo o terminada completamente. El día miércoles tiene que estar finalizado. Okay. Teacher, este, son cinco secciones, ¿verdad? Yes. Pero el examen final, ¿dónde está ubicado? 
in section the, number five. Ahí eso era el examen final en la sección cinco. Yeah, it says there, I think the final exam or something like that. I'm I'm not sure about it, but it says yes. so. yeah. I, it's a pure. Mm -hmm. So obviously we are going to have an exam. Es, vamos a tener una mini evaluación y que esa va a ser el jueves, pero acá, with me, okay? So that's not going to be in the platform. See? Okay, teacher. All right. So Stella, do you have a question? Teacher, ¿cómo está? Oh, para los que no han entregado la solicitud para el siguiente módulo, ahora es último día. Oh, okay. So, guys. Ahora. Thank you. It was today. Thank you for that, uh, Maria. So, guys, okay. for people who hasn't completed that process, so please check or do whatever you have to do, okay? So, Stella. A mí se me para el examen final ya. Okay. Pero okay. igual no le puedo completar por lo del tiempo. Okay, no problem. So remember you have two business days. Tienen dos días completos para poderlo terminar. So you won't have any problem. Así no, 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 no tienen ningún problema al final. Okay. So keep working okay. on that, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. So that's going to be all for today's guys. Thank you very much for attending I'll see to the you class. Tomorrow. And before you go, I will send you that presentation as one. No, never mind. It's okay. So um, uh, I, I was going to tell you hacer los ejercicios, pero veo que algunos están bastante mal de tiempo. So I will give you the, that time. Voy a dar ese tiempo para que puedan eh, trabajar en la plataforma. Okay. But I will still, siempre les voy a enviar la presentación y quien los quiera hacer porque quiere practicar que lo haga. If you don't have time, it's okay. But if you want to practice, I will still send it to you, okay? So thank you very much, guys. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Take care. Thank you very good much. Night.